Yo, what's going on, guys? New little layout. Let me know what you guys think of how this this looks, right? Like, it would be right there. Yeah. Okay. So, Bull Bull has been phenomenal for the Orlando Magic. As you guys know, I'm an Orlando Magic fan. I'm also over here visiting my folks. I'm actually at my dad's house in my old bedroom that my dad has turned into a guest bedroom. But Bull Bull, oh, right there. Bull Bull. This guy has been phenomenal. It's been so great to see him play. And it's honestly an incredible story we're watching. Shout out Mike Verkhanov of The Athletic, the guy that I actually interviewed myself, okay? I interviewed this guy a few months ago. And everybody's talking about Victor Wembenyama. Why not talk about Bull Bull? Look at the cat, okay? He is playing great. And... Everyone's like saying that Vic is going to be what's next to come. But what I'm thinking about is the fact that a guy like Bull Bull is what Victor Wembinyama is going to be like. Okay, Bull Bull over here, guys, has been doing this stuff of craziness. And being next to Paolo Ancaro, Wendell Carter, Franz Wagner, Caleb Houston, Chumo KK. Okay, Mo Barner as well. A bunch of trees out there. Old Bull. People are forgetting this guy can dribble. This guy can pass. This guy can shoot. This guy can play defense. He scored more points so far this season in 29 games than he had minutes in his first three seasons, 59 games, with the Denver Nuggets. 59 and 57 games. My apologies, but still below 60 games in three seasons. And the crazy part here is, listen to these averages so far. Also, let me remind you, Bull Bull was a guy that before the nine games he played with Oregon, he was supposed to be a top 10 pick in the NBA. Guy went 44th overall to Denver, which was a perennial playoff team that couldn't give him minutes. Then he was traded last January to Detroit. However, a few days later, there was a physical done which uncovered an injury that needed surgery on his left foot. So the Pistons voided the deal. He had the surgery. The Nuggets then traded him again nine days later to the Boston Celtics in a three-team trade. Of the following month, the Celtics sent him to Orlando with P.J. Dozier. Instead of being lost and forgotten about, Bobo earned his minutes, matured, became accountable, and had the responsibility that Jamal Mosley needed to be able to start slowly peeling the layers in this man's game. And guess what he's averaging? Guess what he's averaging through this season right now? Bull, bull, baby. 12 and a half points, seven and a half rebounds, almost two blocks a game with a steal on night while shooting 42.6 from three in 20, like 20 ish minutes a night. How don't you like that? That's good basketball. Good basketball. Everything you're seeing right here, right here, it's good. It's fun. It's what this NBA is made of. Seeing cats play like this. I also just dropped coffee and just wiped it with my foot and now my sock is wet. And Bull Bull, has the, the thing is, is another great thing is Bull Bull showing this ball handling. Because people don't realize Bull Bull wasn't always the tallest cat. Yes, he became tall, but when he was younger, he wanted to be a guard. He wanted to ball out. His son's all, he's the son of the second the guy who has the second most block shots in, in NBA history in Moon Bull. You should know that already if you're, you're a fan of Bull Bull. And it's funny that they were yelling, it's a Bull World. The guy who had the Twitter handle Bull World, who gave up on Bull Bull at one point this summer. He said, I, I'll admit, I don't think Bull Bull is going to be a big player. He's probably jizzing his pants because Bull Bull is a good basketball player. And everyone's saying, Victor Wembanyama, Victor Wembanyama, oh, Bobo and Victor, oh, Victor Wembanyama could be what Bull Bull is. Is that what we should see it now? I'm just loving every second of it. And it's good basketball, it's fun. And you guys should too. Because this cat right over here, right here, right, 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 uh, right here, right here is so much fun. He's a blast. Every second I get to watch him play is phenomenal. And I hope for another one. Because you guys should too. 
So let me know your thoughts down below. Also, did you guys like this setup right here with this here? Is it weird with me right here on the side? I don't know. Let me know. I think it'll make editing videos a lot quicker and a lot easier and a lot more fun. It also comes down to, hey, YouTube, don't be a bitch and fucking copyright it. 